into the mic and it loud again. Good evening, everyone. Good to see everybody. Hope you can hear us a little bit better. We've cranked it up as high as we can. We're doing the best we can. Looking forward to what God's going to do. Que bendición a mirar a todos. Ojalá que puedan escuchar bien. Vamos a hacer el mejor que pueden, que tú puedes escuchar bien. Uh, gracias por hermano Trey y hermano Roy ayudando. Thank you for brother Roy and brother Trey helping me tonight. We're going to sing for a little bit. Vamos a cantar. Let's have a great time in the house of God. Even though you're in her house. Amen. Vamos a tener un gran tiempo en la casa de Dios, aunque tú eres en tu casa. And we're going to sing. Vamos a cantar. We're going to praise. Vamos a alabar. We're going to pray. Vamos a orar. And we're going to preach. Amen. Y vamos a predicar. Amen. Brother Trey, let's go to that first song. We'll be singing Living by Faith. Amen. I care not today what the morrow may bring, if shadow or sunshine or rain. The Lord I know ruleth for everything, and all of my worry is vain. Living by faith in Jesus above, trust and confide. Walks close to my side, living by faith in Jesus above, trusting, confiding in his great love. From a heart safe in a sheltering arm, I'm living by faith. some sweet day, our troubles will then all be o'er. The Master so gently will lead us away beyond that blessed heavenly shore. Living by faith in Jesus above, trusting, confiding. Second song will be I'll Fly Away. Away. 
When the shadows of this life have gone, I will fly away like a bird from prison bars has flown. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll fly away. To a land where joy shall never end, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Repeat the chorus. I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. Amen and amen. Good to see everybody tonight. Que bendición. Amelia, todos en esta noche. Uh, you may be seated. You may be seated. Amen. You may be seated. All right. Uh, what a blessing to be here. Que bendición hacer aquí. I have some prayer requests before we go to the Lord of Prayer. Ten, ten, uh, tiene unos peticiones. Uh, I am asking for prayer um, for... Uh, got, a, got a text from Sister Carrie Barba that her grandson... Uh, has some type, it seems like some type of a virus uh, with a high fever. Uh, nieto de hermana Carrie, uh, um, um, Carrie Barba tiene un, um, parece como un virus que, que con temperatura. Uh, they're not sure yet, no está seguro. Uh, please pray that it's, that, that he would get better, orar que él mejorar, but also that it wouldn't be the coronavirus, que no, no eres el coronavirus. He does live in Washington, even in Washington. Uh, and so be in prayer uh, for Sister Carrie's grandson. Ser en oración por uh, el nieto de um, hermana Carrie. Also, Sister Diana Barba uh, has a CT scan on the 25th uh, to check and see. Uh, it's a check for uh, the cancer she's been dealing with. Um, hermana Diana Barba tiene un uh, CT scan en um, uh, el 25 de marzo para checar uh, por el cáncer. The prayer request is no cancer. La petición es que no hay cáncer. So be in prayer for Sister Diana. Uh, uh, pon en oración por hermana Diana. Continue to pray for my nephew, Josué. Ramirez, siguen orando por mi sobrino, Josué Ramirez. He's battling cancer. Está batallando cáncer. Uh, and also, he just came through chemo, his last chemo treatment. Apenas pasó por su último tratamiento de, de quimioterapia. Pray, his defenses are down, so his defenses está bajo. Pray that uh, he will not get sick. Ora que él no por enfermo. Pray for the most... Um, for the, the, the most at-risk members of our church. Orar por los miembros que está más en riesgo. I gave a list yesterday in our prayer meeting. Di una uh, lista um, ayer en nuestro um, tiempo de oración. But I, I, I forgot some folks that I want to add to that list. Please pray for Sister Mickey McClure. Orar por hermana Mickey McClure. Uh, and also for Brother Homer and Sister Rachel Serna. Hermano Homer y Hermano Rachel Serna. Um, older folks uh, are more susceptible and it's more of a risk. Los, los más ancianos están más susceptibles y es, tienen más riesgo. Be in prayer. So add those to those that I gave you yesterday. Añadir estos a los que lo di ayer. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, tonight... 
I come to you thanking you for allowing us to be here in this service, uh, allowing us to be together even though we are not in the same building. We are gathered in your name. We are asking you to be in our midst, wherever that is. And I pray that you'd work. I pray for those in our church that are sick. I pray for Sister Carrie's nephew, that you would uh, touch him. May, may it not... Uh, we want him to be healed from any sickness, but it may it not be the most severe that it could be. Touch his little body, break the fever, lift him up. I pray for Sister Diana, that the report... On the 25th, will be cancer-free, no cancer. We're praying that you'd work and guide in that. I also pray for my nephew, Josue, that you would be with him and touch him. Uh, Lord, keep him safe, keep him from infections, uh, keep him healthy uh, as he recuperates. Be, and Lord, we're praying for the results when they finally do the test, that he also would be cancer-free. I didn't uh, say it right now, but also pray for Brother Jesse Croft uh, as they found that speck of cancer that they, they're not sure if it's developing or if they missed it. But being, uh, Lord, we pray for him as well, our most vulnerable in our church. I pray for our older folks, Sister Mickey McClure, uh, Brother and Sister Mao. Uh, keep them safe, Brother Jess, uh, Sister Elva. Um, also that you would be with those, uh, uh, Sister Katie Tucker with her health, my son Jonathan, Brother Homer and Sister Rachel, uh, Brother Charles Tucker. Uh, Lord, uh, if I missed any, you know who they are. And I'm asking you to put your hand over each one in a tremendous and a special way. Be with our most vulnerable. Be with our most at risk. Be with all of us. Uh, keep us from this. But Lord, I pray that we would be wise in what we do and take care in a tremendous way. Thank you for allowing us to be here tonight. Answer our prayers. Your will be done. Give us a tremendous service. In the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen and amen, amen. Brother, let's do some more singing, amen. Amen. This next song will be Mansion Over the Hilltop. <clears throat> I'm satisfied and with just the ground is below a little silver and a little gold but in that city where the ransom will shine Someday yonder, we will never more want. 
in search of the city. I want to mention a harp and a crown. I've got to mention just over the hilltop in that bright land where we'll never go. And someday yonder we will never more wander, but walk on streets that are pure as gold. Amen. 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 Our last sin will be face to face. Amen. We get raptured, we'll see him face to face. Yes, I am. Face to face with Christ my Savior. Face to face, what will it be? When with rapture I behold him, Jesus Christ, who is 
yet to come. Amen. Yep. My pockets are filled with money, and I don't wear the latest styles. And the house where I live is old and run down. That's all right. It'll do for a while. Cause soon I'll inherit a mansion when nothing will ever decay. And I'm gonna wear a white robe and a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Cause it don't take this world's possessions. No money did I have to pay. It just took the blood of God's only Son to wash all my sins away. And I don't have much longer to stay here. My race is almost run. And Lord, you know, I've seen better days, but the best is yet to come. And Lord, you know, I've seen better days, but the best is yet to come. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. The best is yet to come. And behold, yeah, Bob and Eve, I believe it's coming. Pronto. Yo creo que va a venir pronto. Amen. Psalm 145 tonight. Salmo 145. Psalm 145 tonight. Salmo 145. Amen. Psalm 145. Psalm 145. Salmo 145. We're going to read the first seven verses. I lay it los primeros siete versículos. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. All God's people say, Amen. Amen. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Vamos a orar. Heavenly Father, help us tonight. Help us to see this and to be reminded of what we need to do. Reminded at this time that it, the Bible hasn't changed. And God wants us to, you, you still want us, Lord, to continue to praise you and exalt you and lift you up at this time. And I pray you'd help us in Jesus' precious name. Amen and amen. This is an interesting psalm. It's un salmos interesante. The title of this uh, is David's Psalm of Praise. El título es Salmo de Alabanza de David. Most of the psalms you see a psalm of David. Muchos de los psalmos miran un salmo de David. This has a specific title. It's David's Psalm of Praise. Tiene un título específico. Salmo de Alabanza de de David. And here in this chapter, David does just that. Aquí en este capítulo, David hace esto. Él uh, uh, di su alabanza al Señor. He gave his praise to the Lord. He gave his praise to the Lord. Uh, the first verse says, I will extol thee, my God, O King. El primer uh, uh, versículo dice, Te exaltaré, mi Dios, mi Rey. Oh, that word extol. Es la palabra exaltar. It means to hold up. Es a levantar. Es to exalt. Es exaltar. It's high. Es levantado. It's to raise. A levantar. 
We are supposed to be praising God. And when we praise God, we raise him up. Not that we're going to lift God, but we lift him up in the eyes of others with our praise. Levanta a Dios en los ojos de otros cuando alabar al Señor. David wanted to lift God up. The, uh, uh, David quieren levantar a Dios. He wanted people to see God high and lifted up. Quieren que la gente miren a, a, a Dios exaltado y levantado. How important it is for us to not at these times of, of, of problems. En, en estos tiempos de problemas es importante que no uh, uh, empiecen a, a quejar y, y actuar como Dios no está grande. It's so important at this time well, uh, uh, of, of problems that it's easy to complain and, and, and begin to make, make as if God is not powerful or not able to, to uh, 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 be in charge. We need to exalt him and extol him. Necesitan exaltar y, 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 y levantar a él. He says, my God. Oh, king, here is the king of Israel realizing there's a king greater than him. Aquí está el rey de Israel uh, uh, mirando que hay un, hay un rey más alto que él. God is higher than any king. Dios es más levantado que cualquier rey. Uh, I, I'm grateful for good leaders. Uh, yo, yo soy agradecido cuando tienen buenos líderes. But there's no leader, I don't care how important they think they are, that is higher than God. No hay ningún uh, líder, ni importa qué tan importante pienses que ellos somos, que está más alto que Dios. And he is the one that we need to, boy, we love to boast about uh, uh, our president or our candidate that we love. Le gusta a exaltar el candidato o el presidente que, que nosotros amamos. We love to boast about our children. Le encanta exaltar nuestros hijos. We like to, we like to exalt ourselves. Le encanta exaltar a nosotros mismos. We like to exalt our sports heroes. Le gusta exaltar nuestros héroes de deportes. Our favorite singers or actors or actresses. Nuestros uh, cantadores o actores o actrices favoritos. Le encanta exaltar. That's not who we're supposed to be exalting. No debe ser exaltando a, exaltando a ellos. We're supposed to be extolling the God of heaven. Debe exaltar el Dios del cielo. Oh, he says, I will extol thee. Talk big about God. Habla grande de Dios. You know, it's not a bad thing to brag on God. No es una cosa malo hablar a, a, a grande o exaltar a Dios. Why? Because it's all true. Porque todo es la verdad. The problem is, we exalt ourselves and half of it isn't true. Probably 80% of it isn't true. Nosotros exaltar a nosotros mismos y la verdad es que hasta el 80% no está la verdad. Uh, you know, we talk about the fish. Hablan del pez. We, we talk about all the things that we've done. Hablan de muchas de las cosas que ha, ha sido. And for, with the years, they become bigger. Y por los años está más grande. You can talk about God as big as you want to, and it's all true. Pueden hablar de Dios el más grande que quieran, y todo es la verdad. Everything is true. Oh, what a blessing to be able to ex extol him, to exalt him. Que bendición a, a, a exaltar a él. Look, a lot of stuff going on today, but God is still big. Yeah. Muchas cosas pasando hoy en día. Pero Dios está, todavía está grande. He's still king. Todavía es el rey. He still deserves to be exalted. Todavía debe ser exaltado. Not only that, but he says, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Pero también dicen uh, ahí que y bendeciré tu nombre eternamente y para siempre. That word bless means to, to kneel, to praise, to salute. Ese uh, 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 palabra bendecir es a poner de rodilla, a alabar, a saludar. I mean to give him the proper salute. A dar a él a saludo correctamente. I mean he is the highest of the officers. 
Él es el más alto de los oficiales. He should be saluted with the highest salute. Debe ser saludado por el, el sa saludo más alto que pueden dar. He deserves to be blessed. Él debe recibir uh, uh, ser bendecido. Oh, to, put, to get on your knees and say, you deserve all the honor. A poner de rodillas y decir, tú debes recibir todo el honor. And notice what it says he will bless. What he's going to salute. What he's going to praise. What he's going to bow before. Miren que dice que él va a uh, uh, bendecer. Uh, uh, que él va a saludar. Que va a alabar. Que él va a poner de rodillas. It says his name. Su nombre. Oh, as I was looking at this, I've always enjoyed looking at the names of God. Siempre me gusta mirar los nombres de Dios. I, I, a couple of different times at Christmas time, we've gone through the prophecies and we've looked at the names of the Lord and, the, and, and, and how beautiful it is. Varios veces en Navidad miraba uh, los profecías y también los nombres del Señor, de Señor Jesucristo. Qué bonitos son los nombres de Dios. God's name are wonderful. And if you're going to bless his name, you ought to know his name. Si tú vas a bendecir su nombre, deben conocer su nombre. I want to give you just a few. I can't give them all tonight. Yo voy a dar unos. No pueden dar todos en esta noche. One of his names is Abba. Uno de sus nombres es Abba. You know what that means? Father. Padre. I'm glad he is my father. Yo soy agradecido que él es mi papá. Mi padre. I lost this last year my earthly father. Perdió mi, mi papá de esta tierra. He is in heaven today. Él es en el cielo hoy. But I know I still have a father. God is my father. Todavía yo tengo un padre. Dios es mi padre. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your savior, I'll tell you this, he wants you to be saved so that God can be your father. Si no conozcan a Cristo como salvador, él quiere que tú eres salvo, que Dios pueda ser tu padre. Not everyone born is a child of God. Right. No todos nacidos son hijos de Dios. Those who have come to Christ, trusted in what he did on Calvary, and received him as Savior, they're the children of God. Los que confían en, en, en Cristo, vengan a la cruz, y aceptó a Cristo, recibió a Cristo, ellos son los que son salvos. Those who have recognized their sin, los que reconoció su pecado, Recognize their condemnation. Reconocer su condenación. Recognize their need for a savior. Savior. Reconocer su necesidad por un salvador. Recognize they are nothing. Reconocer que ellos no somos nada. He is everything. Él es todo. Those that have bowed the knee before the King of Kings. Los que pone de rodilla en frente del Rey de Reyes. Those who have accepted the gift of salvation, which is Jesus Christ. Ellos que aceptó el regalo de salvación que es el Señor Jesucristo. God wants to be your father, but you must be born again. Dios quiere ser tu padre, pero tú deben nacer de nuevo. You must be born of water and of the Spirit. Nacido de agua y del Espíritu. You must come to Him in repentance, by faith, and be saved. Decide venir a él en arrepentimiento, por fe, y ser salvo. And then you can call him Father. Y tú puedes decir, Papá, Abba. Oh, another name is Alpha and Omega. Otro nombre es Alpha y Omega. Oh, how beautiful is this. I know we, we always think of it as being the beginning and the end. Siempre piensa que es el principio, el fin, and that is true. Y eso es la verdad. But the beautiful thing about Alpha and Omega, la cosa bonita de Alpha y Omega, is the first and last letter of the Greek letter, Greek alphabet and everything in between. Es el primero y el último uh, letra del, de, del, uh, del griego y todas las letras en medio. Not only is he the beginning and the end, él es el principio el fin, he is also every letter and every word of the Word of God. Él también es cada letra y cada palabra de la palabra de Dios. He is all of it. Él es todo. There's no lies. There's no mistakes in God's word. 
No hay mentiras ni errores en la palabra de Dios. The Alpha and Omega is the Word of God. Amen. El Alpha y Omega es la palabra de Dios. In Isaiah 46, he's called the Ancient of Days. In Isaías 46, uh, tiene el nombre el Anciano de los Días. Here's the amazing thing. When the earth was formed, he was already the Ancient of Days. Cuando era formado el a, 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 a la tierra, el mundo, él ya era el, el anciano de los días. He's the ancient of days. He has always been, he always will be. Siempre era, siempre va a ser, every day. He's already been here for eternity. Cada día, él es aquí por la eternidad. It's an amazing thing. Oh, how we need to bless his name. Debra bendecir su nombre. He's the anointed one. Es el ungido. The Lord Jesus Christ is the anointed one. Jesucristo es el ungido. He is the one uh, that was uh, 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 the, the Holy Spirit that gave us. And by the way, he's anointed and he gave the anointing to us, which is the Holy Spirit. Él es ungido, pero también dio a nosotros este uh, 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 ser ungido con el Espíritu Santo. What an amazing thing, amazing thing. We go into some names that begin with the, the prefix L. Entra unos nombres que empiezan con L. El, el chul, the God who gave you birth. El chul, el Dios que dio a ti nacimiento. This is the horrible thing about abortion. This is la cosa horrible. There's a lot of them. Hay muchos. One of the horrible things about abortion, una de las cosas tan terribles del aborto, is they are killing something that God gave birth to. Está matando algo que Dios di nacimiento, or conception, o concepción. The Bible says, before we were in our mother's womb, he knew us. Antes said, adentro de nuestras madres, él conoció a nosotros. God created us. Dios creó nosotros. Not evolution. No es evolución. Not a big bang, un gran explosión. God spoke, and then God formed man. Dios hablé, y después formó al hombre. God is the one who gave you birth. Dios dio a ti nacimiento. Oh, he's uh, uh, el día, the God of knowledge. El día, el Dios de, conoc de, de, de uh, conocimiento. There are just times when people ask me questions and I don't have an answer. Hay veces que la gente da a mí preguntas y yo no tiene respuesta. Because I don't have all knowledge. Yo no tiene todo conocimiento. There have been times in the past I acted like it. And a veces en el pasado que actuar como así, but I don't know everything. Yo no conozco todo. But God does. Pero Dios sí. He has all knowledge. Él tiene todo, todo conocimiento. You know why? He created it. Él creó. You want to know about the world? He created it. ¿Quieren conocer del mundo? Él creó. You want to know about space? He created it. ¿Quieren uh, saber del espacio? Él creó. You want to know about heaven? He created it. ¿Quieren conocer del cielo? Él creó. You want to know about hell? He created it. ¿Quieren conocer del infierno? Él creó. He created it. Everything is and exists because of Him. Todo existen, existen por Él. El Elion. The God Most High. El Elion, el Dios más alto. O el Dios altísimo. I don't care how many books and movies they make that are fantasy. No importa qué tantos películas ni, ni libros que, que hacen que son de fantasía. They cannot create a being higher than God. Yeah. No pueden crear un, uh, uh, un, un, un uh, Dios más grande que Dios. What's amazing about all these characters that they create, que es increíble de todas estas uh, figuras que, que hacen, they all have something that can take them down. Todos tienen algo que pueden 
destruir, whether it's kryptonite or whatever it is. It's kryptonite que sea. There's nothing. Nothing can touch God. Nada puede tocar a Dios. He is the most high. Es el altísimo. He's high and lifted up. Levantado. Alto. Remember, we're supposed to exalt that. Deben exaltar eso. El Olam, the everlasting God. El Olam, el Dios eterno. There's no beginning. There's no end. I don't get it either. I just know it's true. Yeah. <laughs> no hay en principio, no hay fin. Yo no entiendo tampoco, pero yo sé que es la verdad. We serve an eternal God. El Dios eterno. The only tomb that held the body of the Lord Jesus is empty. Yeah. La única tumba que tenía el cuerpo del Señor Jesucristo es vacío. Vacío. El Roy, the God who sees. El Roy, el Dios que mira. I remember when we had Hurricane Dolly. Me acuerdo cuando tenía el Hurricane Dolly. Hurricane Dolly. We stayed in the church and it was very hot. Quedó en la iglesia, era bien caliente. Electricity went out. Pagó la electricidad. We were in a room with no windows. Era un edificio, en, en un cuarto sin, sin uh, uh, ventanas. And we were trying to keep my son at least a little bit cool. He had a lot of medical issues. Estuvo tratando que mi hijo quedó uh, 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 un poco, este, um, uh, fresquito, and tuvo problemas médicos, and so each one of us were taking turns with this little fan and sitting and waving it over the top of him. Cada uno está con un abanico y, y tratando a dar aire a mi hijo. Mine was in the middle of the night. Mío era en medio de la noche. And I did good for a while. Hizo bien por un rato. But the next thing I know, the fan's on the floor and my eyes are closed. Pero que, que el siguiente momento yo, yo estuve de, dormido y el abanico en el piso. Why? I get tired. I can't see everything. That's why I bang my toe on the edge of the bed because I can't see everything at night. Por esto pegar mi dedo en, el, en, en la cama en medio de noche porque no puede mirar todo, but God sees everything. There's no inky blackness dark enough to keep him from seeing. No hay nada de oscuridad Que él no puede mirar. Oh, he's El Shaddai, the God Almighty. Es El Shaddai, el Dios uh, 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 con toda la fuerza, con toda la fuerza. No one can beat my father. Nadie puede ganar en contra de mi papá. I remember being little and we would always say, well, my dad is stronger than your dad. My dad can beat your dad up. Me acuerdo del niño diciendo, bueno, mi papá puede este, ganar en contra de tu papá. Él es más fuerte. We'd have these little battles. Tenías esas batallas. And none of our fathers ever fought. Y ninguno de nuestros padres, padres batalló. But the truth is, there's always somebody stronger than you. Siempre hay alguien más fuerte que tú. But not God. Pero Dios no. No one is stronger or has more power. Nadie es más fuerte o tenía más poder. That's why it's so sad that we trust humans who are limited when we have the Almighty God. Por esto es triste cuando confía en los hombres que son con límites y tienen a Dios todo fuerte de poder. He's Elohim, the Creator. Es Elohim, el Creador. Nothing is here without Him. He is Yahweh, the self-existent one. Él es Yahweh, el que existe en él mismo. Él no necesita nadie ni nada para existir. He needs nothing or nobody to exist. We have to have things to exist. Necesitan cosas para, para existir, para vivir. Él no. He's Yahweh Bore. Es Yahweh Bore, the Lord Creator. El Creador, el Señor Creador. Yahweh Nisi, the Lord my banner. Yahweh Nisi, el Señor mi bandera. We fight under his banner. Batalla bajo de su bandera. Not this world's banner. No, bajo de la bandera de este mundo. His banner. Su bandera. Also a banner is a covering. También uh, esto es como un, un uh, que cubren. 
God covers his people, his children. Dios cubre en sus hijos, su pueblo. Yahweh Ra, the Lord, my shepherd. Yahweh Ra, el Señor, mi pastor. Yahweh Rafa, this is a good one. Yahweh Rafa, the Lord that healeth. Yahweh Rafa, el Señor, que sana. By the way, think about this for a minute. Sometimes you have to get sick to be healed. A veces que necesitan enferman para ser sanado. Spiritually, you need to realize if you're a, if you're a lost sinner, you're sick. Espiritualmente, si tú eres un pecador perdido, tú necesitas reconocer que tú eres enfermo. You have sin that is condemning you. Tiene pecado que está condenado. But even in life, there is sickness. En la vida hay enfermedad. And by the way, if you're saved, the healing may be touching your body here or you having a new body there. El sano puede ser por un cristiano tocando su cuerpo aquí o llevando allá. Yahweh Shalom, the Lord is peace. Yahweh Shalom, el Señor es paz. Yahweh Shema, the Lord is there. Yahweh Shema, el Señor es ahí. Oh, I love that. You know why I like that? I got thinking about this. I know he's with me right here. Yo sé que él es conmigo aquí. But I also know that he's there when I go there. También sabe que él es ahí cuando yo voy por allá. And he's there when I go there. Es ahí cuando yo voy por allá. And he's there when I go there. Es ahí cuando yo también va por allá. The Lord is there. Yahweh, Saboat, the Lord of hosts. Yahweh, Saboat, el Señor uh, 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 de los multitudes, de, de los, del militar espiritual. Yahweh, Tishkenu, the Lord our righteousness. El Señor nuestro justicia. Yahweh Yira, the Lord will provide. Yahweh Yira, el Señor va a proveer. He is so many things, and that's just a small amount of his names. Esto es un uh, poco de su, un poco lista de sus nombres. He has many more names. Tiene muchos más nombres. He's the counselor, el consolador. He is uh, uh, the mighty God, el Dios uh, altísimo. Más poderoso, he is. Um, mine just went blank on the one I was going to say. Uh, oh, he is God with us. Es Dios con nosotros. So he says, um, this is how I'm going to praise him. He said, esto es como yo va a alabar. I'm going to extol him. Yo va a exaltar a él. I'm going to exalt him. I'm going to bless his name forever and ever. Yo va a bendecir su nombre por siempre y por la eternidad. Verse 2, it says, every day will I bless thee. Versículo 2 dice, cada día te bendeciré. Then it says, I will praise thy name forever and ever. Uh, uh, um, y alabar tu nombre eternamente y para siempre. Do you realize every day and for eternity, one of the things you get, many people are saying, what can I do spiritually while we have this quarantine? ¿Qué es algo que pueden hacer espiritualmente en este tiempo de uh, cuarentena? You can praise him. Yeah. Tú puedes alabar. You can bless him. Pueden bendecir. You can exalt him. Tú puedes exaltar. Verse number three. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Not only is he going to extol, exalt him, extol him, él va a exaltar. Not only is he going to bless him, va a bendecir. Not only is he going to praise his name, va a ben, uh, uh, alabar su nombre. But he's going to declare his greatness. Va a declarar su grandeza. Grande es Jehová. Grande es Jehová. Y digno de suprema alabanza. Oh, that word great is large in magnitude and extent. I like this one. I said loud. That was one of the definitions was loud. Ese eh, eh, palabra uh, uh, grande es, es largo en magnitud y, y, y ridoso. Important, distinguished. Importante, distinguido. Oh, he deserves. He is the loud God. Es el Dios ridoso. He'll speak in a small, quiet voice. Él habla en un voz Quieto, but he is also a loud God. 
Pero también es un Dios ruidoso. And we're supposed to greatly praise him. Y deberá alabar grandemente. Greatly is this vehemently, wholly, speedily, loudly. Uh, uh, grande, como deberá alabar grandemente, es, es, es con fuerza y, y ridoso y, y todo eso. It's an amazing thing. In basketball, there pretty much has become three players that people think are the greatest. In basketball, in, in the basketball, hay tres jugadores que muchos piensan que son los mejores. You have Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. Tiene you know Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kobe Bryant. And there's people on every side of this issue. Y hay gente de todos lados de, de estos jugadores. And I'm going to tell you this right now. If you walk up to somebody that thinks Michael Jordan is the greatest and say LeBron is the greatest, si tú hablas con alguien que dice que Michael Jordan es el mejor, y él, ellos piensan que LeBron o Kobe es el mejor, or any of the combinations, or cualquier dos combinaciones, if you're on the opposite side, si tú estás en el otro lado, they will vehemently praise that player and tell you why they're the greatest. Ellos con mucho fuerza va a defender ese jugador y por qué él es el mejor. Uh, y they will get very animated. Con mucho animación. They will, I mean, they will start pulling out the statistics. Ellos va sacando los estadísticos. And usually it comes down to Michael Jordan has six rings. Yeah. Normalmente es Michael Jordan tiene seis anillos. He never lost. Nunca perdió en los finales. But it comes, there, there'll be battles. And boy, I tell you if, you, if you're a sports fan, you know how heated it can get when sports fans talk. Si tú eres de los deportes, pueden poner muy, muy fuer mucha fuerza en, en los en los pláticas. But that's the idea of greatly praising. Es la idea de, de, de alabar grandemente. But that should be reserved for God. Not for Ford, Chevy, or Dodge. Esto debe ser uh, uh, dedicado a Dios, no por Ford, or por Chevy, or por Dodge, or que sea, whatever you think is the best, uh, whatever you think is the, 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 the best, whatever. Que tú pienses en mejor, save all that energy to greatly praise the Lord. Guarda toda esta energía para grandemente alabar al Señor. He deserves all that praise. Él debe recibir todos los, este alabanza. Michael Jordan wouldn't have one ring if God hadn't created him. Michael Jordan no va a tener ningún anillo si Dios no creó a él. God gave him the talent. Dios dio talento. If you wanted me to have that talent, I would be six foot eight and weigh a lot less too. Si Dios quiere que yo tenga este talento, yo voy a ser seis pies, ocho pulgadas también. God did all of that. Dios hizo todo eso. He's the one that should be praised. And debe ser alabado. And do it in a great way. Y hace una gran manera. <laughs> Just praise them. And then look what it says in verse 4. Read in versículo 4. Not only is he going to extol and bless and praise and do it greatly. No, no es nomás que él va a exaltar y bendecir y alabar en una gran manera. But look what verse 4 says. One generation shall praise thy works to another and shall declare thy mighty acts. He was also going to share that praise with the next generation. También él va a compartir esa alabanza con la siguiente generación. Parents, God has been good to you. Papás, Dios ha sido bueno contigo. How much do you share that with your kids? ¿Cuánto compartir esto con sus hijos? Or do they, all they hear from you is complaints. O todo lo que escuchen es quejas. Do your children know that you believe God is great? Sus hijos conozcan que Dios ¿Saben que, uh, que, Dios, que tú crees que Dios es grande? What about you, Sunday school teacher? Maestro de escuela medical, bus worker, trabajador de voz, people that have uh, uh, contact with teenagers, los que tienen contacto con los jóvenes. How much do they know about your God? 
¿Cuánto conozcan de tu Dios? Do you praise him on a great scale? Do you eh, alabar a él en un gran manera? Does the next generation know from you that God is great? ¿El siguiente generación conozca de ti que Dios es grande? Maybe God put you in your home with some young people so that you could have some time to share with them how good God is. Puede ser que Dios pone a ti en su casa con los más jóvenes que tú puedes compartir con ellos qué tan grande es Dios. Verse number 5 and 6, versículo 5, he says, I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty and of thy wondrous works. And men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. It's not enough to just have it in your heart. No es suficiente no más tener en su corazón. It's not enough to just have it in your mind. No es suficiente no más tener en su mente. You need to speak up. Habla. Tell people how great God is. Habla de que tan grande es Dios. Speak up and tell people the mighty acts of God. Habla de los actos grandes de Dios. Speak about the blessings of God. Habla de las bendiciones de Dios. Let this world know. Let other Christians know. Our God is great. And I'm not ashamed to talk about it. De que que esta generación y los cristianos y el mundo saben mi Dios es grande. Yo no tiene vergüenza de decir eso. This is a time for you to share with people. Get the word out there. You have any interaction with anybody. Let them know. It doesn't matter what's going on. My God is great. No importa que está pasando en ese mundo ahorita. Ese es el tiempo que tú puedes decir a cualquier persona que tiene contacto. Mi Dios es grande. Verse number seven. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness and shall sing of thy righteousness. I wonder how many of us have short-term memory with God. ¿Cuántos de ustedes de nosotros tiene memoria cortito cuando estás hablando de Dios? In the message this morning, in a mensaje en esta mañana, The disciples, within a few hours, forgot about the feeding of the 5,000. En el mensaje en la mañana, los discípulos en unas horas, olvidé, olvidé de los panes y los peces. How quickly we forget how good God is. Que tan rápido olvidan que tan grande es Dios. Easter is in a couple of weeks. Pascua es en unos semanas. And all of this that's going on, y todo esto que está pasando, he's still the risen Savior. Todavía es el Salvador resucitado. Amen. He's still great. Todavía es grande. We still can face tomorrow because he lives. Todavía pueden confrontar mañana porque él vive. He's still great. I don't care if you're in your house for the next two weeks. And you can't go out. He's great in your house too. Yeah. Importa si pueden salir de su casa por dos semanas. Él es grande en tu casa también. Remember. Recuerda. And then look what it says. And mira que dice. And shall sing of thy righteousness. Versículo 7. Y cantarán tu justicia. Hmm. I have to laugh because in, in church, uh, when the people get up to sing specials, when la gente levanta a cantar especiales, I have a habit. Yo tengo un hábito. Sometimes I don't even realize I'm doing it. A veces ni, ni di cuenta que estás haciendo. They're singing. And I'm sitting at that chair back there singing the song because I know it. Ellos están cantando y yo estoy ahí en, el, en la silla cantando. I, I, I love to sing. Yo le encantan a cantar. I've seen how singing can bring you into the presence of God. Has mirado como a cantar puede levantar a la presencia, presencia de Dios. But I see it over and over and over in churches nowadays. Yo miren vez hasta vez en las iglesias. How the pastors and the song leaders have to pump people up to sing. Como los pastores y los directores de música necesitan como alentar a la gente a cantar. 
But that's one of the ways we praise the Lord. Eso es una manera que alabar al Señor. We get to sing of His righteousness. Canta de su santidad, de su justicia. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning I'll lift my praise to Thee. We get to sing to the Holy God. Well, then cantar al Dios Santo. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. We get to sing about his blood, the perfect blood. For the cantar de su sangre, precioso perfecto. We get to sing about how he has done so much for us. Canta de como él hizo tanto por nosotros. And as a special said tonight, and the best is yet to come. Y como dicen en especial, el mejor va a venir. Oh, praise the name of the Lord tonight. Alabar el nombre del Señor en esta noche. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him in song. Alabar en canto. Remember to praise Him. Recordar a alabar a Él. Remember what He's done. Recordar que Él hizo por nosotros. Open your mouth and speak about it. Abren su boca y hablen de esto. Share with this next generation. Compartir con esta siguiente generación. Praise him. Declare his greatness. Alabar. Declarar su grande, grandeza. Bless his name. Bendecid su nombre. Extol him. Exalt him. Exaltar a él. Let's take time to remember to praise our God. Vamos a recordar y tomar tiempo a alabar. Nuestro Señor. To God be the glory. Great things he hath done. A Dios la gloria. Grandes cosas has hecho. Let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Vamos a orar. The tray is going to come. Wherever you are. Christian, get on your knees. Raise your hands to the Lord and just praise him. Tú eres. Pone de rodilla. Levanta sus manos y alaba al Señor. Lost person tonight. Accept him as your savior. Perdido en esta noche, aceptó a él como salvador. If you don't know how, we'll give you a number in a few minutes. You can call. We'll talk with you. Para dar a ti un número, tú puedes llamar y nosotros podemos platicar contigo. Let's make him a father. Vamos a hacer que él es nuestro padre. And let's praise him tonight. Vamos a alabar a él en esta noche. Brother Trey is going to sing as he sings. Let's just praise the name of the Lord. Just as I am without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God. Savior, we'd like to talk with you. Si no conozcan a Cristo como Salvador, quieren hablar contigo. You can call our church number. Pueden hablar en nuestra iglesia, 956-423-8075. 956-423-8075. Si no conozcan a Cristo, pueden hablar en nuestro número de teléfono, 956-423-8075. 956-423-8075. We will be back Wednesday night at 7. Miércoles a las 7. Va a regresar a juntar otra vez aquí en Facebook Live. Here in Facebook Live, we'll be back again. 
If you're wanting to know how to uh, tithe, give your tithes and offerings, you can send them to the church. You can do online bill pay. Or you can call me and set up a time to drop it off here at the church. I've already had some that have dropped it off here at the church. If you want to tithe and give your offerings, you can online bill pay, send a letter to the church, or you can set up a time, call me and set up a time when I can be here to uh, open the door so that you can put it in the offering plate. Amen? We will take care of it. And um, church has to go on. Church still has to pay electric. But we'll be doing Facebook Live in the dark. Don't want to do that. Amen? I love you. I'm praying for you. We will see you on Wednesday at 7. Vamos a mirar el miércoles a las 7. You have a wonderful night. Tiene un buen noche. Pray for those that we talked about praying for. Oren con ellos que hablé de que deben orar. And anyone else you can think of. Cualquier otra persona que pueden pensar. Heavenly Father, help us. Thank you for allowing us to be here. You've been so good and you've been so gracious. In Jesus' precious name, amen and amen. You're dismissed from your dining room to your living room. Amen.